Well, good morning. Today is Wednesday, October 20th. We do have two birthdays today. Today is Corey over at Weight Watchers with Carrie. It's Carrie's husband, Corey. Today's Corey's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Corey. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. It's also Susan Smith's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Susan. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Well, I hope you both have a great birthday. Uh, you might hear a lot of banging in the background. My neighbor, three doors down, is getting new siding put on his house. He's getting vinyl siding. He's going over the aluminum siding and putting vinyl siding. So I noticed that my microphone... Yesterday you picked up my neighbors bringing in their garbage cans because yesterday was garbage day. But, listen to the sound. Or you can hear traffic. Because I'm not that far from the expressway. And you can hear some birds. But you're not hearing lawnmowers or leaf blowers. Oh, heaven. I'm in heaven. Oh, those noises just drive me crazy. They just drive me crazy. Um, a lot of you have been commenting how much happier I am. Oh, I am. You know what? When you're doing better, when you're doing well, you always feel better you really do and uh, I think getting back into my routine of walking every morning is really getting me back on track it really is um, and it all comes down to you got to prioritize the things that you're going to do and a prime example I can give you two right up well three right off the top of my head one is Susan Ratter who's sparkling Susan she's in Minnesota away on a job for three weeks Yet she doesn't let that stop her priorities because her priority is her weight, her health, uh, maintaining her mindset. So she gets up every morning at 4.30 ooh, 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 and she power walks. And she power walks up and down the halls. I guess there must not be a gym in the hotel where she's at. I think because of COVID they don't have the gyms. But that doesn't stop her. She does that. And she brought her own oatmeal and protein shakes, uh, Premier Proteins. And so she's really watching her food, and she had a loss this week because of her priorities. And so I have to remember to set my priorities straight. The other two people are Doug and Joan at Joan's Point of Plate, who get up at 4.30 in the morning <laughs> to either run or do their HIIT training or whatever they're going to do. They get an exercise in just about every single day. I think they take a day off or two days off. It doesn't matter. They still get up and prioritize that. So my new priority is getting up when I get up. I'm not getting up early, which I can prove. You can either be like Joan, Doug, and Susan, or you can be like me and fit it into your schedule. Because if it's really a true priority in your life, you'll fit it in. You really will. Now, I have a very busy day ahead of me today. I have lots I've got to do. Um, i got to go to the store and just get some. I'm not a lot. I'm not going to do a grocery haul. i just got to get Jim some lunch meat, and I need some bananas. And then I have to bring, uh, I have to go pick up Sof uh, Alyssa from school. And then I got to bring her home. And then I, like an hour later, I got to go pick her up again and bring her to the dentist to get her braces adjusted. And then what else I got to do? Hmm. I know I had something else I had to do. Oh, I have to go to, um, uh, was it Secretary of State? No. Hmm. I had to go somewhere else. I have to figure out what it was that I had to go to. I know. I know I have to go to the library because I got a book I got to bring back. So I know maybe that's what I have to do. I got to go to the library and bring. I got to get into that book. I, you know, yesterday I spent the day watching tags, and uh, so today I think I have a priority of getting started on that book. Because once I get started on a book, I, I can't stop. I really, I just keep reading and reading and reading until I get to like you know me, to the last chapter or two, and then I stop because I don't want it to end. I want it to end. But I don't want it to end. And I think the reason I got so close to my 100 pounds is because I wanted to get to my 100 pounds. I really did. I wanted to be over with it. I got to my 100. I accomplished that. But then I didn't want it to happen. So I kind of backed up and gained about 25 pounds. Uh, that's not my priority anymore. My priority is getting back up to that 100 pounds. And I definitely am going to get back up to that 100 pounds. Because it's, it's not a matter of... Uh, having priorities it's how you schedule them into your busy life we all have a busy life i'm retired i think i'm busier now that i'm retired than i ever was when i was working 
Uh, I think I get a lot more accomplished <laughs> than when I was working, but maybe not. But um, I'm the go-to for my family, so if they need anything, I'm the go-to, and I don't have a problem with that. I kind of relish that role. So um, I, um, I have a lot of priorities in life. I know that David needed me to do so. Oh, I have to find out about from Samantha if the uh, forms went over. If not, I think what we're going to just do is go to uh, Office Max and scan them there and have them send it. It'll cost a little bit of money, but whatever we're doing is not working, so I have to check with Samantha to see if it worked for her. And just tomorrow's my weigh-in day, so I will eat light. I will show you my food today, but I'm not going to... I'll probably be about 15 or 16 points. I feel a sneeze coming on. I feel it. It's right here. It's ready to come out. Maybe not. But as you can see, it's kind of nice. But we're supposed to get rain tonight, maybe tomorrow, and then the cold front comes in, and it'll be true autumn. Uh, this has just really been uh, nice this last couple weeks, having this night. It's nice for Jimmy because Jimmy's able to get a lot more done on the outside, get the structure of his house up quicker. And then once he gets the structure up inside, doesn't matter what the weather is. So he wants to at least get the outside done. And um, and the picture on the one house that I showed you, the house that they picked from the architect had the siding on it, but the whole the whole front of it is going to be brick. And then I think just above the archway, they're going to have a shaker shingle. I think. Don't quote me on that. But I know they wanted brick. So um, they picked out a really nice looking brick. So once that gets done, you know, the outside, the inside should be easy peasy because we have a lot of electricians and plumbers in my family. And I don't know if I mentioned that uh, my, my cousin Lynn and Dale and Sarah are going to be able to come from Toronto for Thanksgiving. I'm so looking forward to that. I love cooking a big Thanksgiving dinner. It's even nicer when you have so many family members at the table too. So that'll be good. And I guess that's about it. I'm going to check my notes to make sure i got to ask myself, what's my priority? My priority right now is getting back on track, having the right mindset. And I have Kim, a girl on her phone, to thank for that. Because um, I just, uh, I, I, I've said that to you so many times, but to hear it myself from somebody else, talking, I felt right to me. Although she wasn't. But I know she was. But she really wasn't. But I think she was. Um, and if it's important, you're going to find a way. That's true. Anything in life, if you, if it's important enough, you always fit it in and you always find a way. And the key is to schedule it. I schedule my walk in the morning when I get up. Um, a couple times I haven't been able to do it the first thing in the morning, but I walked in the afternoon. So I scheduled it into my day and I got it done. And, okay, the biggest word we ever heard in our life, the biggest word we don't like to hear, and it's only two letters, N O. No, we need to tell ourselves no sometimes. And we need to make ourselves a priority. And we need to make our plan a priority. And our journey a priority. And just our life a priority. And I think once we make ourselves the first priority in our life, uh, we will succeed. So, okay, let's see what I'm having for breakfast. Let's see, because I don't really, I don't know either. We're both going to be apprised. Time for breakfast. Today is Wednesday, October 20th. My quote is to change your life, you need to change your priorities. It's an 11 point breakfast, zero for my eggs, raspberries, banana, tea, I have a half a cup of raspberries. A half of a Thomas everything bagel for four points, four points for an ounce of Colby Shack cheese, and three points for a tablespoon of peanut butter, and a banana, 11 points. I had this yesterday and it really hit the spot, so I thought I'm going to have it again today. So it is a nine point dinner, zero for my veggies, the strawberry and the cranberry juice, one point for two ounces of turkey, four points for an ounce of cheese, two points for my two tablespoons of the fada dip, and two points for my sugar free pudding. It's a nine point dinner, so I ended up the day with 20 points. Well, I found out that the best way I can stay on track is to keep busy because I've been busy all day. Um, I think I stayed on plan. Well, I know I stayed on plan today. I did really well this today. I did really well since last Friday. 
So I'm really looking forward to my weigh-in tomorrow, and I can't tell you, it's been a long, let me straighten you up, it's been a long time since I've been looking forward to getting weighed. <laughs> um, I'm hoping for at least a pound, pushing it, hoping for two, but I'll be happy with just a pound. I really will. Uh, I think that I've been doing really well. I've been doing really well with my walking, say, saying no to my temptations, and um, just being persistent. That's my that's my goal, being persistent and, and putting my priorities straight. And I think I finally, 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 and I know I've said this a lot, but I really do think I finally, get, well, the holidays are coming up way, way fast. So I have to uh, really get back on track or else I'm going to put a lot of weight on during the holidays. And that is not my plan. My plan is to lose weight over the holidays. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, share if you think somebody might like to see it. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.